All right, what is going on guys and welcome to a new apex legends video man and today I have some great news for you guys uh, Respawn is taking some real actions against cheaters man, and we're gonna be talking about that today But first if you guys do enjoy the videos man Make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications man over 88% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel You people that watch the videos every single day man So I would appreciate it if you guys would take two seconds of your time to drop a sub I would appreciate it man, and let's get right into it all right, so I'm gonna have a link to everything in the description, guys. But here it says Apex Legends War on Cheaters is going to the next level with all new methods. Uh, Respawn Entertainment has revealed how they are continuing to combat cheaters in Apex Legends after an increased number uh, have appeared in rank play. The long awaited rank mode for Apex Legends was finally added to the game with the start of Season 2 Battle Charge back on July 2nd. The mode allows highly skilled players to take on opponents of a similar caliber in a competitive setting. However, some players haven't been wholly truthful about where their skill come from. With plenty of hackers, warming their way in it's obviously something that the more honest players want the developers to crack down on and their calls are being answered uh, a huge number of players have already been banned for showcasing their exploits in their check-in post with the apex legends subreddit the respawn community team offered a number of insight and some tweaks and fixes players can expect aside from bugs and the annoying code leaf errors cheating play uh, a big part of the conversation Developers used the thread to reveal how they're beginning to crack down further on cheaters. Moving forward, Respawn will be utilizing machine learning to create behavior models that detect and auto ban cheaters, as well as making matches that only connect detected cheaters and spammers together, among other things. So, what it says, we know reports of cheaters, especially in ranked, have been more uh, have been a hot topic this week, as we also wanted to provide a little visibility into some of the work that's been going on behind the scenes to combat cheating. Using machine learning to create behavior models that detect and auto ban cheaters, requiring TFA in certain regions on high risk accounts, improving uh, detection that identifies and bans new spam accounts before they are used, ongoing work to adapt to new cheats matchmaking that matches detect the cheaters and spammers together which is the best thing in this list by far man like literally these people that are big scumbags and you know i i just don't really want to get into that i cannot stand cheaters but the people that cheat that are scumbags and that people hate are going to be matched together so they're literally going to go against their own kind which is the best thing that could ever happen man in my opinion uh then it says invest investigating how people party up for matches even if you are not specifically using a cheat partying up with cheaters is still cheating and you'll get banned for it and then increasing resources whether that be people or tech which is great they're going to increase the amount of people that are be working on all that and as we've said before, the war against cheaters will be ongoing and remains a high priority for us. There will always be work to do, improvements to make, and new things to adapt to. We'd like to thank the players that have been getting involved with helping us uh, squash cheaters over the last week, whether it be submitting reports or assisting with the vetting process for suspicious behaviors. Then we got another little insight from a respawn dev. Somebody asked, it'd also be easier to report cheaters if your spectating team let us rotate to the squad that killed us. It's very frustrating to be the one click away from reporting a cheater but being unable to do it. And then uh, the respawn dev said, it's coming. So that means that they're going to be adding a way to be able to rotate through people. And also recently, if you guys have not noticed while you guys are playing Apex Legends, they took out the uh, little uh, eye that shows if somebody is watching you. So the cheaters now will just keep cheating even though you're watching them because they don't know better. They don't know any better. They're stupid people and they're cheating in a video game to be better. So, I mean, is that really, do I really need to explain myself? But that's pretty much everything, man. They've talked about a lot of stuff about that, man. And I hope you guys are excited for the changes, man. I could not be more excited for all the bands incoming to cheaters and stuff like that and matching them together, man. That's just perfect. Honestly, just leave them in lobbies together and uh, we'll all have a great day. And every legit player will be able to actually play legit and have fun and actually compete against highly skilled players and not uh, scumbags. So... I hope you guys did enjoy the short video, man. Just wanted to give you guys some insight on that. It came out a couple days ago, but I figured I'd make a video about it because I'm sure a lot of people still don't know about it. So, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next video. Peace. <laughs>